Hey guys, local here with Jensen straight off from his win. Jensen, how easy is NALCS? Um, it kind of feels like we're like five men pre made playing solo queue in a way. Like, there's not really too much competition for us. Um, they're just making so many mistakes. Like, even against CLG today, like, I think Impact died like 1v1, and then somehow Dashan just threw his entire lead and then gave up every single turret, like, just trying to roam, like, being really desperate and stuff. So, like, I don't even know what the teams were doing, uh, what the teams we're playing against is doing, really. They're just kind of just like throwing the game, like even when they have leads. So even if we make mistakes, it doesn't really matter too much because all these teams don't really know how to like snowball properly. So you guys <laughs> lost to TSM and you guys are playing C9 next week. Those are some brave wars. Are you not afraid you're going to eat them? Uh, I mean, I think C9 and TSM are probably the only two teams that I really think have a chance of beating us. Mm -hmm. So. Even though the rest of NALCS is pretty shit, I think those teams are actually pretty good. Um, I think the match against Cloud9 is, is definitely going to be hard, but I still think that we're the better team. So do you prep extra hard versus C9? Because, I mean, the whole history between you and C9 and also, yeah, it is the second place team and the team that's right behind your tail. Um, I'm not sure if we'll prepare more. I think... The first time we prepared against them, it was like almost a two hour preparation. So it was a lot of preparation, but I think we're kind of just preparing the same amount for every team now, I think. So even though we play against like, you know, some lower standing teams, we still like put in like an hour of preparation or something. So we'll probably do a bit extra, but we still like respect every single team because it's a best of one. So even though we're better than the lowest standing teams, we still have to prepare a lot because anything can really happen in best of one. So. If things are so easy and things just flow so well for you guys, how do you stay motivated? How do you stay so involved and put in the hours when I mean, you guys have so much talent on your team? You, Double Lift, Core JJ, X Smith, the Impact, like everyone's so good. You guys could probably win without practicing. Like, how do you stay so motivated and how do you put in the work? Yeah, I think we kind of like dropped the ball and that's that's why we lost to TSM as well because we weren't trying as hard as we should have or practicing as hard as we should have. So I think we kind of lost. I wouldn't say we lost motivation, but we definitely got a bit complacent there. So I think after the loss against TSM, like everyone realizes like, you know, we have to win this this whole thing and you know, win as many games as we possibly can because this is all just preparation for playoffs and that's when it really matters. So we definitely shouldn't have lost to TSM, I think, but we we're working on like the issues we have where like we get complacent or anything like that, so we don't do it in the future. As you talked about it earlier, Impact was playing Jace, he took all those turrets. It's one of the few times where we saw you guys kind of push away from the team fight ball of death TL comp and a 1-3-1 comp with a split pusher. Is this something we're going to see more often? Is this something you guys are going to lean into more? Yeah, I think so. I think like right now Jace is like a super strong top lane pick. So even though we are a team that like mainly plays bot lane focused, we have to like try to like learn all the styles to play. So even though we played the Jace, uh, style today. I don't think we played it very well. Like we didn't play together with the Jays much at all. It was just CLG kind of just throwing their lead. So um, it's even though we won today, I don't think we played the style very well. Um, but it's it's something that we need to keep trying and do better. So in an earlier conversation between you and me, you said that TL could potentially win Worlds. Were you joking? Do you really see it? Do you really believe it? Yeah, I mean, I definitely believe it because I think last year at Worlds, that's when I realized, like, NA actually has a chance. Like, before last Worlds, I thought, like, you know, it's probably never going to happen, right? Like, I should be happy with getting out of groups. But I think I realized that any team can actually win. Um, I think Korea will be a lot stronger this year, but I think anything is really possible right now, yeah. I mean, ultimately, if your goal is to make Worlds, right, and win Worlds, the obvious question is, why don't you just go back to Europe? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're from Europe, you're from Denmark. European teams have historically done better. Why don't you just go back to Europe if your goal is to win Worlds? Yeah, I mean, I think if if I couldn't have joined Liquid, then I think my best option would have been to go back to Europe. But I actually like the lifestyle here in America. So I don't know how I would feel about living in Europe because I lived in, in Germany before and I didn't like it nearly as much as, as LA. So I think I also just prioritize like being happy and just having a good space to live in. So potentially, let's say TL got someone else. They, they got Caps or something. They got Faker uh, in the off season. Mm -hmm. Would you have seriously considered Europe? Yeah, I think I think uh, I would have definitely considered Europe if, if TL wouldn't have taken me. I don't know if, if I would have gone for it, but I would have definitely looked for options in, in Europe in that case. 
So some people might say you're looking a little too far ahead. You haven't even won an AL. <laughs> yes, and you're talking about Worlds and winning Europe. Do you think about that a lot? Like, you don't have an NALCS trophy. Like, right now, you're playing insane. Um, a lot. I think a l most of the casters had you or Bjergsen at first in their mid lane rankings. No one can deny you're either the best mid or the second best mid. Is that something that drives you crazy, that you don't have an NALCS trophy? Um, a little bit. It's definitely something I think about a lot. Um, you know, it's, it's kind of something that I have to overcome, I think, because... Even though NALCS isn't big to a lot of people, I think it's it's something that I have to overcome to like really feel happy about my career because I've been playing for almost four years now and I still haven't won NA. So it's it's like a, a kind of like pressure on my shoulder, I feel like, that I just have to overcome. And then after that, like that's when I really have to think about worlds and that kind of stuff. But I think it's fine to like really think about worlds even though we still have NA to win. Um, and it's by no means guaranteed. Like, I think C9 and TSM can potentially be good teams and be a threat to us. So mm -hmm. I'm not, like, ignoring NA at all. Um, it's still something that I'm thinking about as well. Kind of a random question, but why do you never stream? I know, like, you stream, like, twice or three times a year. Uh, I don't know. I think it's just during my off time, I try to enjoy my off time. And then I don't really like streaming <laughs> too much on, on scrim days just because I feel like when you when I want to stream, I want to play like four to five games, right? But I don't really have the patience to play like four or five games in a row and then be entertaining at the same time. But I think once I get, I'm gonna get like Twitch emotes and stuff set up, and then I'll start streaming. Okay. <laughs> what do you like doing on your off days? How do you like to enjoy your time? Um, I mean, it's just hang out with friends, play other games, or like just go out. Like, but most of the time, we've actually had to play a lot of solo queue recently because ever since we lost to TSM, we pushed up the required number to play solo queue, so I had to spend a lot of time playing solo queue. So I could have I, I could have definitely streamed there, but I just didn't. If you guys lose to C9 tomorrow, does your required number of solo queue games go up even more? Oh, I hope not, because I won't have any free time then. So we I mean I don't I don't know. I think as long as we like do the right thing and we don't make stupid mistakes, I think Liquid has been really reasonable with us. Any final words for Jensen fans, Team Liquid fans, to, to the Cloud9 haters? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, thank you guys for supporting me, and uh, please don't flame me too much. You heard it from Jensen. TL's going to win Worlds. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, don't forget to stop. <laughs> thank you so much to Lowkey Community for making this interview happen. If you guys want to support them, the link is going to be down in the bio.